really means. Oh, you got it, Michelle. It's, it absolutely is a powerful location where uh, people have come for, for ages to come and, and sit and thoroughly reflect right here and, and think about the state of things right now. And things are in turmoil. Things are not quite right is the feeling. Uh, and people are coming here to, to have their voices heard. You know, they're sitting on the steps. They're thinking. You can just kind of get a vibe to the people that are that are around here. You know, it's just sitting here thinking about the state of affairs in our country and wanting a change and pushing for a change. We've seen people from all walks of life showing up here uh, to show their T-shirts and their signs. You can see on the, the steps of this historic location, this Lincoln Memorial, uh, where people have come from time for time and time again to to get a change, to make a change and to have their voice heard here in the United States. And that is happening right now. It is spread out. It is all over the district, but this is a place where people are coming for a peaceful and calm and reflective state to have their voices heard. As the very latest at the Lincoln Memorial, Jonathan, Michelle, back to you. Carl, thank you for that. And people around the world standing in solidarity with protesters in D.C. and all across our country, thousands of peaceful protesters gathering at London's Parliament Square today. And they can be seen holding signs reading, Your silence will not protect you. And it's not white versus black. It is everyone versus racism. And this is what it looked like in Australia, people turning out to protest in Sydney against racial injustice in the United States. But also in Australia, the rallies were organized by indigenous rights groups, among others, under the banner, Stop Black Deaths in Custody. Protesters there shouted the name of David Dungate. He was a 25-year-old indigenous Australian man who died in police custody in 2015 while being restrained. His final words were sadly familiar, I can't breathe. So profound. Let's turn now to Steve for a check on the weather.